Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got for my 19th birthday. I turned 19 last Monday on the 4th of September and I just had like a really chilled sort of relaxed day. Went out for dinner with my boyfriend and just kind of chilled out a little bit because I think I went so extra last year on my birthday it was ridiculous. My last year of my teens which is very scary like next year I'm going to be 20 and that to me is terrifying. Yeah, I just sort of chilled. And if you wanna go see what I did on my actual birthday, then make sure to go over to my vlogging channel because my vlog from my 19th birthday will be up now. For those of you that don't know, I made a vlogging channel two months ago and it's actually gone down really well. I realized that my vlogs were becoming very popular on this channel and I really didn't like, I really didn't like having a mix of my main videos with my vlogs on this channel. I just, it made my channel very messy and I really enjoyed vlogging and I didn't wanna like upload so many vlogs on this channel that it became sort of more vlog orientated. I don't know what I'm trying to say but I hope people understand so I just wanted to kind of like split the two from each other so I had like main more professional sort of style videos here and my really chilled relaxed chatty sort of videos over there so make sure to go and subscribe to my other channel it will be top link in the description if you want to see that let me know if you do watch my vlogging channel as well at the same time or if you came from my vlogging channel over to here and I will be vlogging my whole time while I'm at uni as I'm moving next Sunday so yeah I just thought I'd pop that in there little cheeky little plug before we start the video sorry just before I start this video I thought I'd let you know that I didn't get loads of like materialistic items like there's not a ton of like possession sort of thing. I have had money given to me by a lot of my family so thank you if you are watching this and you gave me money for my birthday because I really appreciate it. It's going to really really help me at uni before I end up becoming really broke by the end of the year. The first thing I'm going to share with you is what my best friend Sophie bought me for my birthday. She has a channel as well so make sure to just go and check her channel out. I will leave it down below because she's amazing and we literally met maybe like four months ago now, which is crazy because it feels like we've been best friends for ages. Sophie kindly bought me some presents for my birthday, which she really didn't have to do, but oh my God, they're literally amazing. If you saw my vlog where um, I actually included these presents in the vlog just because she gave them to me when I was vlogging. So I just thought I'd pop it in the vlog, but honestly, I am obsessed. Basically, when we went to Summer in the City in August, I used this color from Sophie's Colourpop palette. I think it's the Yes Please palette. But I might have that wrong. Sorry if I have. Um, but basically there's this bright yellow colour from the palette and at the minute I am obsessed with yellow. I want yellow everything. I love like yellow jumpers and just, just the colour yellow in general. Like, I've got so many accessories for my room. A uni yellow now and I'm like, Aah. in case I don't like yellow in like a couple months time. This is like the perfect mustard yellow. It's really, really bright and pigmented and it's the exact colour that I always use from Sophie's palette and it's called Tiki um, and then the other thing that Sophie literally spoiled me I cannot even believe she bought me this I was actually shocked you will have seen my shock and like me screaming in my vlog if you did see that and um, but basically Sophie bought me the Alchemist palette which is from Kat Von D I literally know nothing from Kat Von D so I was like oh my god yes and I love the packaging I love how unique it is it's in a triangle styled palette it is a face and eye highlighter palette and the reason Sophie got me this is because it's holographic like all the shades are holographic the packaging is holographic I'm obsessed with holographic things it's so iridescent and just beautiful the four shades are emerald amethyst sapphire and opal and they're all very very different shades you can't really tell how holographic they are in the palette but honestly when you put it on it is ridiculous green emerald here please say you can see this honestly i was shocked like oh my god thank you so much sophie for giving me this palette because i didn't expect it at all and i love you lots okay so from my parents basically the first things they gave me were lots of like little chocolate things so i got like a chocolate orange some dairy milk like loads of random little chocolatey things for my main sort of present this year it was money basically last year i'll explain like a story i'll try and do it as quickly as possible and get to the point basically last year i my mum and dad were going to get me a car and then we realized that i wouldn't really need a car when i'm at uni because i'm going to be there for three years and at lincoln everything's in walking distance it's like a really communal area so i'll be able to walk literally to everywhere and there's literally no point in me having a car because you have to like pay for parking spaces um like 500 pound a year which is ridiculous so um i decided to like scrap the car idea and my parents were happy to do that as well and instead i decided to 
ask for a laptop and basically from this year's birthday and last year's birthday they've put money together and kindly buying me a macbook so i will be getting a macbook tonight my boyfriend's helping me out with like all of like the technical side of things because i'm not really sure what i'm doing and you'll definitely see me like unbox it and stuff on my vlog channel so if you want to go and see what it looks like and what one i end up going for then you can go and um, subscribe to my vlogging channel because i will definitely share it on there if you're interested in what my parents got me and i'm so grateful like i'm ridiculously grateful because i know how expensive they are but they've like merged my two birthdays together and decided to get me it which is really really kind of them and it's gonna be so essential for uni literally have the laptop that i have now for seven years it's fucked up the battery life is sheer everything is like pretty horrific with it and it's basically just awful at the minute so i'm really really happy i'm getting a new one and it's going to be really really helpful for my youtube channel as well as my blog for editing and stuff so yeah i cannot wait to get that so my brother got me a light box for my birthday it's quite funny because aiden also bought me a light box as one of my presents so aiden's kindly returned that and is going to get me something different apparently but i honestly don't expect him to after the present he got me which i'll share with you soon but basically my brother bought me a light box for my birthday and i'm so happy with this it's going to be amazing for my youtube videos like in the background and stuff and um, sophie has one of these and i really really love it um, so I'm so happy I've got one on my for my own and I'll obviously take this to uni for me for decoration and stuff. My brother's also buying me a poster for my room but we're yet to still buy that online. I really want, I'm probably going to sound like the weirdest person ever, but I really want loads of like anatomy and like brain and heart and muscle pictures like all around my room because I am taking forensic science for my degree. And I just think it will look really cool like having loads of like artsy science sort of posters like scattered around my room. <laughs> Okay, then moving on to what Aiden's mum bought me for my birthday. She basically gave me some money, which was so kind of her. And she also gave me like a few gifts that I'm going to share with you now. So first of all, she bought me some Harry Potter pyjamas and she got me the like um, Gryffindor ones. So the really like nice burgundy sort of colours with the gold. Ugh, got hair in my mouth. Ew. And then the little stripy shorts to match. I think these are so cute. Like I love wearing like pajama shorts, really thin pajamas to bed, just because I like getting all cozy in the covers and stuff. So I'm so happy with them. And I really needed some new pajamas as well. So I am very pleased with that. I literally love pajamas as gifts. I think they're such a, a, a good gift idea. Then I have these two reed diffusers. So I have this one, which is pink lemonade and vintage blossom. I'm not really sure what company they're from. Oh, Primark. These are from Primark. And someone told me in one of my university videos, they commented down below saying that some halls don't allow candles and stuff. So this is going to be a really good idea because obviously I don't need to burn these. And yeah, I'm very excited to pop these in my room and make my room smell really nice and stuff. And then also for uni, Anya bought me some little pins. They're really cute because they have loads of like cute, cool prints on. So like some shoes, lipsticks and stuff. Pins for my cork board because I'm going to like pin loads of photos to my cork board. And then also these like cardboard and gold pots for like pens makeup brushes and stuff like that for my side of my room i'm really really liking this because it's a very neutral color with the like pop of metallic sort of thing on top so yeah this is definitely going to suit my uni room and de decor very very well so yeah thank you on for that too moving on to what my best friend megan bought me i was shocked when she gave me this because we always buy each other like makeup or a makeup item that we want for each other like at christmas and birthdays or just something that we think the other person's gonna like but this year megan decided to go for something very different and i'm obsessed she basically got me some key australia glasses which i've been wanting for years like they are so beautiful they're basically pink and purple with like really sleek black matte um, frames and I cannot get over how stunning these are. I'm really hoping the camera picks up my glasses right now because I am obsessed. I can't believe I have these. I'm obsessed with sunglasses if you didn't know. So when Megan gave me these I literally screamed. So basically my auntie on my mum's side of the family and my cousins all gave me some money which is gonna really help me out at uni like I said um, and they also gave me like loads of little stationery bits and bobs to take with me which is gonna be again very very helpful because I literally have only bought pens and pencils so far for uni and I really need to go on a stationery shop so this has kind of sorted me out really so basically I'm gonna quickly whisk through them they gave me some highlighters a mini stapler loads of like pretty colored staples which I didn't realize you could get different colored post-it notes a glue stick, a new rubber, some sellotape, and these really two little cute clips. Ah! 
I'm glad that so many of my presents are going to contribute to my like uni room and uni life. Something that I actually bought like on my birthday, we basically, me and Aiden basically went into town to like put my money in the bank and just do a couple of other like little things. A local shopping centre, which is a pile of shit, just to let you know. <laughs> There's basically nothing in there, uh, apart from like WH Smith, which I go in probably most times I go in there, just because I really like bookshops and I've been wanting to find like a new read for ages because I love reading and I've been so busy over summer. I told myself at the beginning of summer I was going to read loads but I literally haven't had time so I know that there's going to be quite a lot of time at university where I'm going to be spent like, in my room on my own so I thought I better go and get some new books. I only managed to find one but it literally looks amazing. It's called Natural Causes and it says an Inspector McLean novel. It's by James Oswald. It was on offer in WH Smith for like three pounds so I was like I need to buy this. I love crime novels, like true crime novels just pretty much anything to do with like detective sort of things. I'm interested in that stuff, like that's what my degree's in, it's in forensic science, so it interests me a lot. So I really, really think I'm gonna like this book and I will definitely let you know after I finish reading it whether I actually like this or not. And then finally, moving on to what my boyfriend bought me for my birthday, which I cannot believe. So first of all, he obviously bought me that light box, which now he's returning. Then next is something that is very handy. He bought me basically a camera lens um, cleaning kit, which I thought was a really, really cool idea. I wouldn't have thought to ever buy one of these myself, but it's definitely going to be handy because my camera gets super dirty when I've got all my fingertips on it. Like once I've been doing my makeup and I'm like fiddling around with my camera, obviously from doing like tutorials and stuff, I never have anything to clean my lens with. I don't know what's safe to clean my lens with. Um, so he basically bought me a professional camera cleaning kit, which is gonna be super handy. And yeah, a very thoughtful gift that's actually going to be useful. The last things that were left in my little present bag that Aiden gave me were these letters. And there was basically a series of 12 letters that he'd basically pop loads of clues in. So the first letter says, you're about to play a game, you'll be able to open one envelope at a time and make one guess per envelope, good luck. I went through the letters and I had like loads of random clues in. There was either like an image or a fact about different places. So this was the first clue. So I instantly thought we were going somewhere because the airplane kind of signifies that. I didn't want to get my hopes up and obviously I just didn't want to guess because I didn't want to like ruin it as we went through. After I got through all the letters, this was the last one and I just was so excited. I was like screaming and jumping over Aiden, being really annoying. But basically this was in the last one. It basically says you're going to Rome, Florence and Milan. So doing like a little travel trip to Italy next Easter. I think we're gonna try and go around March, April time when we've got a break from uni. And we're gonna basically go traveling through Italy. So we're going to be going to Rome, Florence and Milan. I'm literally so excited for each of them because Rome is a place I've been wanting to travel for ages just because it's very historic and very like cultural. I really like that area. Florence I've been wanting to go because so many bloggers go there and the scenery is beautiful. I can't wait to snap some photos there. And literally one of the clues in the letters was like, you're gonna to wanna to take blog photos of me. And I was like, and then Milan is a very fashion based area like lots of fashion-y sort of things go on there We really want to go and try and see a fashion show which would be so sick three very different places in Italy that I've really really want to go and I'm literally so happy it's gonna be so fun like traveling through to the different places and get to experience the Italian culture um my boyfriend is half Italian for those of you that don't know so he has a few family members I think that live in southern Italy but I think they're a bit more distant family members yeah, um I'm so excited to go I'm really excited for the food for the atmosphere like a different city I've never been to Italy in my life but I've always wanted to go so yeah I'm so excited that we're going to Italy and I can't believe he's bought me that tickets and places to go so yeah I can't wait I think we're gonna do like three or four days in each different place so yay and obviously I'll vlog that when we go thank you Aiden for my incredible presence thank you very much for watching please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below if you're new and enjoyed one thing I want to ask before I end this video is if you have any questions or anything you want advice on to do with university or school or education or sick form and um, please comment them down below because I really really want some questions in I have quite a few already but I just want to get like a really big range of questions before I go to uni I really want to film a university and sick form related video before I go back and I want it to be like a Q&A where I can give advice tips how I felt about subjects, my own experience sort of thing, just for anyone wondering, and yeah, or anything anyone wants to know about my university, like why I wanted to do what I wanted to do, just let me know and comment down below some questions or DM me on Twitter or Instagram or something if you want it to be a bit more private. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!